In this video, we will talk about the recently announced Rs. 20,000 crore follow-on public offer by Adani Enterprises. Now, this follow-on public offer comes under two sections of the Companies Act 2013. One, Section 23, and two, Section 62.1c. Let's look at what Section 23 says. Section 23 talks about public offer and private placement. Section 23 1 states that a public company may issue securities A to public through prospectus, here and after called a public offer, by complying with provisions of this part. Now there's an explanation to this section which states that for the purposes of this chapter, public offer includes initial public offer, to further public offer of securities to the public by a company. Three, uh, an offer for sale of securities to the public by an existing shareholders through issue of prospectus. Now, section 62 deal deals with further issue of uh, share capital. Section 62.1c states that where at any time a company having a share capital proposes to increase its subscribed capital by issue of further shares, such shares shall be offered to any persons if it is authorized by a special resolution, either for cash or for a consideration other than cash, if the price of such shares is determined by evaluation report of a registered valuer subject to such conditions as may be prescribed. So these are sections 23 and sections 62.1c of the Companies Act 2013, which deal with the further public offer. So let's look at the timeline for this for the public offer by Adani Enterprises. On the 25th of November 2022, the company held a board meeting wherein it was held. It was wherein they decided to raise funds by way of further public offer through a fresh issue of equity shares of the company, aggregating to Rs 20,000 crores. And for this, they needed approval of shareholders by way of postal ballot. Remember, there has to be a special resolution. So on 28th of November 2022, the company sent out a notice under Section 110 of the Companies Act seeking shareholder approval for the further issue of uh, equity shares. Now, on 30th December 2022, the company got approval uh, from the shareholders for this special resolution of um, issuing further equity shares. On the 18th of January 2023, the board meeting was held by the company wherein they decided to approve, adopt and file the red herring prospectus with the ROC Ahmedabad. They also set out a timeline for the follow on public offer, wherein the offer would start on the 27th of January, would conclude on the 31st of January 2023. The anchor investors would get to bid on the 25th of January 2023. Now, in a separate meeting held with the independent directors, the company passed the following resolution. The resolution included the floor price of the following public offer, which is Rs 3,112 per equity share of the FPO. The cap price is Rs 3,276 per equity share of the FBO. Retail investors get a 64 rupees discount and the minimum number of shares which can be subscribed to is 4 and thereafter you can subscribe to it in multiples of 4. Again, the entire amount will not have to be paid at the time of bidding for the equity shares, but only 50% will have to be paid up front. The remaining 50% as decided by the company will either be will either have to be paid in tranches or in one shot whenever the company calls for payment of the balance amount. 
Now, on the 25th of January, the company will call a meeting wherein it will decide the cutoff price for the anchor investors and also decide who are the successful anchor investors. The company will thereafter call for a meeting on the 1st of February 2023 wherein they will decide the offer price of the following public offer. So this is basically the timeline of Adani Enterprises Rs. 20,000 crore follow on public offer.